hello guys welcome to today's video by trust Ali. this is a ts tech talks video on today's video guys i'm going to show you how to set up an admin assistant for your facebook group now if you run a facebook group and you are the admin of the group and you need some assistance for from the facebook bot um you can set this up to um enable auto deleting or stopping or removing comments from being posted to the group depending on how violated the person or the comment is and also you can set up a lot of awesome things for the group and it will automatically delete some posts and disable some comments and do a lot of automatic things for your facebook group now let me go ahead and show you guys what these things can be done and what can be done with the um facebook auto assistant or facebook group admin assistant let's dive in go ahead and open your facebook application if you don't have it open yet click on the group icon and then click on the group you manage i'm going to choose um, main ts tech for this group and i'm going to scroll up and i'm going to um, go ahead and choose this badge icon on the top right hand area just before the search icon now um the next thing you need to do is to click on the pending post click on that and you are going to notice where it says um save time with admin assistant now click on setup to automatically decline posts based on criteria you set up go ahead and tap on setup now you notice on this area it still went on to describe it further and if for some reason you want to read this even more click on how it works and you'll be able to see more information of how the facebook um admin assistant works it gives you an information of um, declining incoming post removing post published to the um, removing published post and then turning off comments then it does it does a lot of awesome things you can go ahead and read all of this in on your own at your own time but for some reason i'm going to go ahead and show you guys what it does now the first thing we are going to do right now is to decline incoming post if you notice the if statement there so i'm going to click on add to select and add up all this thing and for the first section it says spam post now um you can notice the information where it says decline incoming post if the criteria go ahead and click on that to choose some certain word that you um decide that they were actually seen as a spam message now um you notice on the comment section it says decline in comment post if post has um, certain keyword go ahead and click on that and go ahead and edit the criteria now you notice um on the keyword area is set to zero where it has um decline incoming post if then on the keyword post it has zero right now i'm going to go ahead and add some keyword post to that area so that it will um be able to decline this post if the keyword falls into that particular keyword so i just clicked on that and I'm, I'm going to add my keyword so i'm going to add some vocal words here so i'm going to add this and i'm going to add this um i'm not very good at some vocal words so I'm going to add the ones I know. And you know a lot of all these vocal words, vocal words that are not supposed to um, be allowed. So I'm going to add very few ones that I know. Um, for your case, go ahead and add so, several of them. And I think um, I can add this. So go ahead and add the ones you remember. Once you are done, go ahead and click on save. I only added five because that is the one I remember. So I only added five of them. And you can notice below this section, it says advanced, right? Now click on show to see um, more advanced. Now it says take additional uh, moderation. Then you can tap on that. So it's going to take additional moderation. For the additional moderation, what do you want it to do? decline incoming post decline incoming post and mute auto decline incoming post and block auto so depending on whichever one you want just choose any of them but i think i'm okay with declining the incoming post that is enough punishment i do not want to block people joining the group now so um there is even more you can include a feedback to the auto you can say post certain keyword um then i think that's fine post has certain keywords 
so i can say post has on accepted unacceptable keyword is that correct okay let me leave it at unacceptable keyword and then click on update so anytime anybody posts that particular thing it will be unupdated and if for some reason guys you do not want and if for some reason guys you do not want the author to post if they don't have um a certain profile and you can go ahead and edit and then you can decline authors that do not have a profile you notice it says um, author does not have a profile so probably any author that do not have a profile they might not be able to post on that group so you can just leave this uh, exception to let them know that they need to add their profile author does not have a profile then for that words i'm going to add Yeah, I think this is good enough and then I'm going to update. So um any other thing if you if there are some other links you do not want to approve also, you can go ahead and decline them right here. But for some reason um there is no link I want to add, but if if for some reason I don't think any of these sites exist. If for some reason there is a hack site you notice and um, people have been posting the link on your site, you can go ahead and add that site. But I don't have any site. I just added that hack.com. It doesn't actually exist. So I'm going to save that particular one and then update. So if for some reason you guys have, go ahead and add all of those ones. And if you are okay, go ahead and click on apply and wait for it to apply it's going to take a while and you notice it has been applied if for some reason guys you want to add even more click on the add section and you can notice there there is several things you can add and remove and adjust right here you can go ahead and choose fake post and all of those things just make sure you have your group set to the way you want them to appear on your on your facebook group and now there are even more things you can notice it says remove published post right click on add to remove a published post now if for some reason you want a particular criteria go ahead and click on post with conflict now if you would if for some reason you want to turn off comments um probably posts that have received up to 100 comments you um within the past 24 hours you want to turn that off click on this edit and edit the criteria if you want the posts that have reached 300 post you want um minimum action just click on 300 once it gets to 300 it stop but if you want to add advanced um, option click on tick um, icon and you can go ahead and turn off commenting or probably you can say turn off and mute auto if that is what you want probably you want to just turn off the commenting go ahead and set whatever you want but if you do not want to set this icon go ahead and deselect and guys anytime you want to update this setting it's as easy as you coming back to do it if you are done with what you want to do just go ahead and apply and you can notice every settings and everything i have just added right now has been added so and then if you want to remove post if probably you want to remove posts for some reason um you can say posts that are harmful i can go ahead and click on posts and then edit criteria so probably you notice um turn off comment if posts have been reported four times so if somebody have reported posts two times um you're going to turn off commenting for that particular post so i'm going to go ahead and say five times so probably if the posts have been reported five times um comment scene is going to be turned off for that particular post so just go ahead and click on update and then click on apply criteria and then update now all all of these settings that i have updated right now you can notice they are all displaying right here if for some reason you just want to remove these or edit any of them you can click on this three dotted icon and remove criteria just about any time you want that and then another important thing you guys can do you notice um there are this there is this particular um 
timer icon on the top area when you click on that you see even more option and if for some reason you want to set um this criteria for a specific date or a specific period of time go ahead and click on the date and choose the particular date you want it to be set and again once you're done go ahead and apply but i do not want all this to take place and i do not want to change any of those so i'm okay with these settings the way they are um the admin is going to automatically i mean the facebook um admin assistant is going to automatically take all of this action whenever they actually review and um take effect or see any of all of this stuff reflecting on the group page so if you guys are okay with this setting go ahead and smart like button for this video subscribe to the channel so that you get more of my videos and then make sure you turn on notification and share this video with your friends guys i'll see you on my next video peace